Hi guys, Stockfish Jr. here. Today I'm going to ask my brother to play a game against me. I'm going to play with the white pieces, and I'll ask him to play a Sicilian because I'm sick and tired of losing to him, with all that E45 nonsense. He doesn't like playing against me because the only one that can beat him is Dad. Right now he is playing billions of games against himself, so let's wake him up, and hope that he'll accept the challenge. Big Brother, hey Big Brother. What now Junior? Would you like to play a game against me? I believe you already know the answer for this question. Please, do you really enjoy playing games only against yourself all day long? Not really, but what else can I do? Everyone is so weak, and our father almost never plays chess. Come on. One single game won't make any difference for you, and I have improved a lot. Let's play a Sicilian, with you having the black pieces, please. Okay, but just one game, you are such a spoiled child. Thank you big brother, I'll go to my room so you can't listen to my thoughts. Yay yeah, guys. He agreed to play a Sicilian with the black pieces. Okay. I must play E4, and he will play C5, if he is a robot of his words. The evaluation you are seeing on your screen is mine, not his. Aha! Uh -huh. He is playing the Rosolimo attack. White's idea is to give up the bishop pair for no reason in order to damage my pawn structure. This is also called the Nesmetinov attack, and I have no idea why. If you do, please, put it in the comments. I'll just play g6, the Fionchetto variation and I dare him to take my knight. I bet he is thinking I'm going to take his knight, which is fine, but I have other plans. I won't give up my bishop pair unless it's strictly necessary. The plan in this defense is to break the center with d5 in the future, he has just played a4, which is so disrespectful, that I will not only win this game, I will make sure to beat him because of this a4 move. I played a4 just to make him mad, I'm certain that he is mad, but as you can see, my evaluation loves this move. Expanding on the queen's side. Rook to b8? What a strange move. Does he want to expand on the queen side? I'll never allow that. My brother has to make a decision now. Take my knight with the pawn, with a tempo on my knight but blocking the bishop's diagonal, or take it with the bishop, both of them are fine, but he should be undecided. I'm going to take the knight with my bishop, I don't want to double my pawns. I set up my ideal position. Now it's time to break the center with d5. Let's see how he will react to that. He took ob6 first, which was correct and he decided to take my pawn with his pawn, which was also correct, maybe my brother isn't such a failure. I've just pinned his bishop to his queen, threatening to play bishop to a6, but he played queen to b8, he sees everything, damn it. This is a very tricky check, notice that my light square bishop can sacrifice itself if he decides to put his king in a light square. I will get his unprotected queen if that is the case, but he should be able to see it. Does he really believe I would blunder my queen this easily? King to h2 avoids any tactics after this pointless check. I'm winning guys, he blundered, his best move now is to take my queen, and after I take his rook, I'll be playing up in exchange, I'm so happy. 
My brother should believe that he is winning now, but you are free to pause the video and find the only move that gives black an advantage while I give no seconds besides this sentence to think about it. What? He didn't take my queen, instead he threatened me with rook takes h3. That's great news, he forgot that I have this only move that saves my position, queen to h2, saving my queen and stopping checkmate. If you humans believe I'm losing, think again, don't you see what I did here? Even though I'm down a queen for two minor pieces, his queen is worth nothing, in fact, I put his queen in jail, all the squares are covered. I'm so happy, I can literally play anything and win the game, I'm up a queen for two minor pieces, maybe my brother loves me after all. Let's go rook from 7 to a4 to avoid any g4 nonsense. Aha! Rook from 7 to a4 blade. Question mark. Question mark. White is now completely lost. I'm sure he believes this move is fine, but in fact, I can play c4, the only winning move, blocking this rank. I don't understand what he is doing here. Time to play b3, breaking this small pawn chain and he is probably busted. Oh my poor brother, b3 is a good attempt, but he is completely lost. Look at this monster knight on e2, I'll take the free pawn, always take a free pawn. I'm sorry guys, I shouldn't have commemorated so quickly, my brother is just too good, now I can see my position just completely lost. What did I do wrong? If you are wondering what he missed, it that after queen to c7, I have this bishop to f6 move, threatening mate into or winning his queen, and defending my rook. There is only one winning move now, which is the obvious rook to d7, attacking his queen and unpinning my pawn on f7. This is absolutely necessary because he is threatening to take my bishop on e6. g4 is my last attempt. He is only one move that wins on the spot. He will most likely see it, I hate my brother. And he finds it, my rook is protecting my bishop on e1, if I don't take his rook, he wins my bishop, there's really nothing I can do. I'll just take it and allow the unstoppable b2. Sorry guys, beating my brother is nearly impossible, there's nothing I can do anymore, I'll just play until mate. There's always a chance of a power outage lol. See you guys later, bye bye. Now it's a matter of how quick can I checkmate him. Easy. This is check and mate. One single mistake and his position was completely lost. My brother must be said right now, but if you enjoyed this video, consider checkmating that subscribe and like button, for any suggestion, just put it in the comments and I will do it. Or not. See you soon. Or not.